morning and welcome back to another round of the 80 and 8 here in the glorious 15th arrondissement of Paris, one of the larger arrondissements of Paris down in the southwest, not the southwestern most in the end, but it definitely feels like it because of the way that the river cuts it off. The 15th runs all the way up to the Eiffel Tower, but that's not the section that we're doing today. The section we're doing today is called Javel, and Javel is also the name of a metro stop or an RER stop that holds a very near and dear and terrifying place in my heart very special in the sense that uh, I kind of hate it. Not not for its own sake, but just because every summer the RERC closes down in the, just for whatever reason, right in the middle of peak tourism. And when I used to do tours out in Versailles, it meant a whole bunch of extra like gymnastics to get people out of the city and to Versailles. But speaking of gymnastics, this is kind of technically, I think most of this is out of bounds, but we'll count, call it kind of inbounds. The outdoor workout equipment game is strong under this bridge at Beaugrenel. And only about a quarter of the bridge of Beaugrenel itself is within bounds. But something that is definitely worth seeing that we want to check out that is in bounds for sure is the largest Statue of Liberty in all of Paris. There are a whole bunch of Statues of Liberty in Paris. Depending on whose count you trust, there are five of them. I think there are five of them. At least as far as the big replicas go. And this one is the biggest. So I figured I'd make a little extra effort to come out here onto the island and give you a little bit of a look-see. Something else I really want to do that I've never been able to do before that is happening right now over there is that balloon. You see that balloon in the distance? If we're lucky, that's in our quarter today and it's going up today. The weather's good enough. I should have just sprinted straight there to try and go. Hopefully we can go on the next round up. I really hope we get to go up that today. I've always wanted to go up it. This quarter also has some fantastic views of the Eiffel Tower that you can get. Not a whole lot. The Ronnie's Mott has a lot of really great views. This quarter doesn't necessarily... Well, I guess we'll find out how many views it has as we explore. But I don't imagine it has a whole ton. This quarter is also a little bit complicated and down in the corner. And uh, I've kind of given up on the naming all the street names. You can let me know in the comments below if you really like knowing all the street borders. But I'm going to be uploading that Google map that I'm making for all of these to my patrons later on. And of course, if you just look up the quarter, you'll be able to find it yourself. But because I like they're getting... these, Some of these quarters are getting so big on the bigger ones. I'd rather actually spend my time exploring the quarter and seeing what's inside of it then going all the way to the outside just to get shots of the street names so we'll just kind of leave that for now you can let me know if that's a big disappointment of course but that's kind of my plan because i'd rather wander through now today from the statue of liberty to the park citroen there's another park beyond that that is outside the perif and of course paris loves to reach just outside of the perif or the peripherique the road that is the border around paris to grab parks it's kind of what Paris does. They love to annex parks from the nearby suburbs. And that park over there is one that I've never seen before. Never been there. So that's my goal. It's a long ways away, but we can hoof it. And on the way, we'll see if we can't catch a balloon ride. And then we'll see what else we find in between. Beaugrenel, the area that we're in right now, is mostly skyscrapers that are out of bounds. It's a really modern area with a nice mall, a really nice movie theater, lots of good shopping going on in this area. Less than half of which is within bounds for us today. but. Definitely one that we'll come back and visit again in the future. And in the meantime, we can always just wander the streets of Paris and enjoy it for what it is. Ooh, look at this globe. That's fun. Beaugrenel as a mall. I mean, as far as malls go, Beaugrenel is really nice. I'm not personally a huge fan of, you know, malls. But I never mind coming in here that much, which is saying something, because I usually am not a huge fan of, hey, it's Australia. Usually not a huge fan of, you know, walking around in malls. But they've got pretty much, you know, everything you could want from electronics to clothes to some really bad smoothie options, which I won't show. <laughs> but you know, it could be worse. But yeah, it's nice. And the Christmas lights that they do in here are usually actually a lot of fun too. So if you're here for Christmas, definitely come check out the display. I forgot that they put in all these little chill sit and maybe even workstations. And they've got a nail bar. Ladies, if you want to get your nails done, or gents, there you go. Holy cow, this actually also puts into perspective the Pacific Ocean is massive. I mean, I know it, but strangely enough, I came to Beaugrenel to get a real sense of the scale. Oh my gosh, it's the entire side of the planet is just ocean. The things that get put into perspective at the weirdest times, what is life? There's a lot of shopping to be done here though, Beaugrenel, and this just, I think the district and just a few blocks around here in general, just tons and tons of shopping. Not necessarily the prettiest or most like Parisian architecture that you'll see around, but you know, once you get over that, it's it's not bad. All right, another question is though, where do I go from here? Because I really don't know. I have no real direction or sense of direction. I mean, I know where I'm going. I'm headed southerly now. I don't know, let's just walk. I'm gonna try and get to the park. The, the Citroen Park is actually really cool. Been there before. 
tried to go up the balloon once before and failed. Today is has to be a success. Like I gotta I gotta succeed at it. But let's just wander and see what we find. Like a Stobies. Everybody loves Stobies. I don't I don't know what a Stobies is, but I love it, I guess. So here's, here's the street of our namesake today, Rue de Javel. Notice there's a ton of brick in this neighborhood already as well, of all varieties. And because I think it's gonna bring me good luck if I do this early, I wanna, whoa, what is that? Okay, we gotta check that out. I wanna thank today's patron producer, James Burgess, for sending me out here to try again to get on this dang air balloon, this hot air balloon. I'll tell you more about it when we get there, but thanks to James and all my patrons for making this possible. And uh, yeah, now let's go explore whatever the heck that tower was because I'm genuinely, because I'm genuinely really curious what the heck that is. What is this thing? The Parish of St. Christopher, okay. This is very different. This art is so cool. Ah, so Saint Christophe de Javel. So the full name has the quarter name in it. Who knew? Well, that was cool. That was really different. That one felt that was obviously a lot darker on the inside than yesterday's church. Yesterday's church was exceptionally bright, but the art style in there was so different. It felt really modern. What was the this one? Yeah, it's a 20th century church as well, which makes sense that it's in brick and so forth. But dang, yeah, it's really different. I, I like that. It's funny to me how much this does not feel like Paris, and yet it kind of does. I don't know. It's nice doing these a quarter at a time really helps me to feel a little bit less, well, a little bit less judgy, I suppose, but also a little bit more like, I feel like I'm starting to see the intricacies of the city and how it's layered upon itself and how different generations made different decisions when building. And even if I don't agree with necessarily all the decisions they made, you know, it all adds up to make the city that we have today. What is this over here? Look at this, look at these little houses. Just kind of tucked away back here, see? Like that, I'm into. I like these, they look nice, at least from the outside. And then others, no, nah, not so much. But you know, we all have different preferences, different strokes and all that. Looks, is it coming down? I think it's coming down. Let's, uh, let's go see about tickets and times. I'm so excited. James, you gotta bring me luck, man. You come through, buddy, come through for me. coming down okay oh it's getting lower and lower but this area this park at least you'll see is kind of like my dream location for an ultimate frisbee league if such things existed in paris because just look at all this green grass oh yes all right how do we get over there is the question i think i gotta go I might actually take the, the near side the near path to get over to that pretty sure i have to go enter from the other side. Please don't leave without me. I want to go on the balloon ride so badly. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> don't worry, I'll come. How, wh how far around do I have to go to do this? Yes, here we go. Excellent. Merci, madame. I got tickets. Done it again. We may not 
not be allowed to go inside any of these buildings, but hey, we can see if, we can see inside them now. They've got it marked off so that we're well, we'll see how much that, how well that works. They've got us marked off so we won't uh, get too close. Social distancing is still in effect, even up in the air. Great. back down because the Eiffel Tower is slowly hiding. Hey there, St. Christopher. With Sacre Coeur in the background, that's so cool. Now who wants to play some Frisbee? Merci à vous, monsieur. C'était trop bien, merci. Merci, monsieur. Bonne journée, au revoir. Et bonne journée, monsieur. Au revoir. Oh, ça vous a plu Oui, c'était super. Bien, ouais, j'ai trop bien aimé. Bonne journée à vous aussi, monsieur. Au revoir. That was a nice guy. There's a guy. He's he's done that 46 times. He said, and he's right. Like if you want to get a couple of experiences in, you can do it multiple times, especially because there's nobody here. Just take advantage of that. The balloon itself is not just a joyride. It's used for testing air pollution and supposedly monitoring traffic as well. Though I don't know exactly how they go about doing that. But it has equipment on it from the CNRS. And for those of you that recognize that acronym, it's the Centre National de la Recherche Scientifique, which is uh, who I do a bunch of, or I have done at least over the last few years, a bunch of documentaries with. I do trans translation and voice acting for them. National Science Division, basically. They do a whole lot of research, a lot of really cool projects. And so they have equipment on this balloon to help monitor pollution and uh, do a variety of studies. And the lights on it, although they're really hard to see right now, the lights on it indicate how traffic is. I think it's either how traffic or pollution is. They, they monitor both, you can see on their website. The balloon also operates on an electric motor. So what's happening is it's being raised and lowered by that cable and otherwise, it's, it's perfectly buoyant. In order to go up and down regularly and consistently, they leave it at, I guess you would call it full buoyancy, I suppose. And then just ratchet it up and down on that really thick cable with an electric motor and make adjustments as they go up so it doesn't drift too far if the wind is too crazy. But that's also why the landing was pretty rough. We bounced around a little bit just trying to get it notched in there all the way. So, And it goes up 150 meters, which is half the height of the Eiffel Tower. Would I recommend going up? 100%. If you're easily motion sick, maybe not. Would I recommend coming to this park for its own sake? No, I mean, it's a really nice park. It would be really great to do laps in. It's like a really great place to run and it's super chill, but it's really far out of the way. And so, I mean, unless you've been in Paris a bunch of times before or you're definitely sold on going up that air balloon, I would not recommend necessarily coming here for its own sake, but it is, it is a nice park. I really like this park to be honest. And these like, these bushes are amazing. Like, look at this. They've been cut, this is really cool. I love the multi-tiered effect they got going here. That's amazing. So I guess as far as modern parks in Paris go, this might be my favorite. Definitely my favorite so far. But that was super cool. And now I'm really wishing that I had brought my sunglasses like I intended to. I don't know why they're not in my bag. <sighs> what a fool I am. Anyways, I don't know how much else we're gonna really see in this neighborhood, but I do wanna try and get to that magical park just outside the Perif, so Let's see if we can't hoof it over there and uh, cross the boundary and see what Paris outside of Paris looks like in this park that may just be a sport complex. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna find out. I also wanna find out what these like big glass structures are over here because they look super cool and they feel a bit, maybe, are they arboretums? What are they? All right, we've seen a surprising amount already. I basically just need to figure out how to get out of this park. There's just a giant fence around this geometric mirror building that we got going on. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can't cross the Perif. I'm really, I'm, I'm feeling pretty committed to that idea. So I'm gonna try and get straight there and see what this park is. And then that should probably do it. I'm just super happy that I got to go up that balloon finally. Well, that's a big and imposing door that looks very locked. Oh, it is. Oh, so this is normally a fountain. At least it says accès au jet d'eau, so that's usually a good sign that there's a fountain up here. So this is a fountain normally, and this is just access to the parking garage. It's empty. Well, that's disappointing. That side has trees inside of it. None of it is open, but at least we tried. Yeah, I mean, really, that's all, that's the least we could do. So now that we've tried here, I wanna get south and see if we can't cross the Perif. Let's go. Oh, but of course there's, it's all locked up down here. Dang it, now I gotta go all the way back around. <laughs> 
All right, well, you know, you win some, you lose some. All right, so at long last, here is the periphery. The border freeway that encircles Paris. We're gonna cross it, we're gonna figure out what this park is, and it'll be glorious. And just like that, it definitely feels like we're outside of Paris. Even though I think technically we're still in it. Okay, one thing that's cool out here is that there's a helipad. It's a heliport. And I guess if you need to get in from the airport really quickly, and you've got a lot of spare cash, this is the way to do it. With its own bus waiting for you here. Hey! If you're taking a helicopter into town, does using a, a hybrid bus really make any sense at that point? I don't know. So apparently I've got to get all the way around this thing to get into the park and my motivation is waning. But I'm going to give it one more honest try. I already had to take one massive detour because I ran into the, the Ministry of the Army building, which is you're not allowed to photograph. And so like there's a whole bunch of footage that I just can't use because I don't feel like getting thrown in jail. So ah, we're putting on a lot of extra miles and there's there, and I, I did say I might get desperate and go for McDonald's one of these days, but I didn't really mean it. I mean, I might now at this rate, but you know, we'll, we'll, let's give it a try. We're, gonna, we're still gonna give it a try and go around. Do I really have to go this far around? I thought Google was being ridiculous when it said this, but do I really? Do, what? Oh no, I have to go that way? <sighs> okay, I looked it up because I didn't want to like end up running around for nothing and it, that's exactly what I think I would have done because it's all actual, it's like it's a sports complex. So it's like tennis courts and tracks and things like that. So uh, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> I don't think I'll be allowed in. It's a sports complex. I don't know what I was thinking. I was really curious, but hey, we stumbled on our heliport. Someday I'll be that guy who gets to ride a helicopter into Paris. Maybe, probably not. But until then, Thanks for joining me for the 80 and 8 today. We've technically sort of left Paris on this one today. We put in a good effort. We put in a lot of miles. And now we get to go uh, enjoy the spoils of our labor, which are, I don't know, lunch in a different Arandi's mod. <laughs> but in the meantime, thanks for joining me for this wander through Javel. I never thought I'd have such a good time associated with that name, but look at us. It was stress-free, joyful, and we took another form of transportation. Air balloon is a mode of transportation I've never taken before and didn't know that I would ever get to. And I'll add that to the list. I've had a good time wandering with me. And uh, technically this is the end of the week for me. And we'll start up with a little bit more of the 80 and 8 next week because I'm trying to get 10 done per month. But there's some special stuff happening this weekend and so there's a good chance that I won't be taking a weekend at all because I want to be able to share that with you. So odds are good I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for yet more madness from Paris. Just a little bit less wandering. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you tomorrow for that. Adios. <laughs>